Quiz Automatic Grading If you want to assess learners formatively or summatively with questions for which there are specified answers, Moodle's very powerful quiz enables you to do this. We can only look at a few of the features of the quiz in this screencast, but it's worth exploring more yourself and in the Moodle documentation. Quiz allows you to use different types of questions, not just multiple choice. And it also allows you to add, as here, media, images, video, sound files as part of your questions. If we go to our course and see how to add a quiz, the first thing to note is that from Course Navigation, More, we can access the question bank. When a quiz is created in Moodle, you create the questions separately and store them separately, so they can be reused by you in a later quiz or by your colleague in the same course in a different quiz. So if you wish, you could start by adding your quiz questions to this question bank here and then make a quiz another day. We can see some of the features of the question bank in another course on another site here. As we and our colleagues in a course create questions, we can decide whether to keep them as ready for use or save them as draft for more discussion. We can view the history of questions, previewing each version, and can add and view comments. Question statistics are visible, and the usage column shows the quizzes in which questions are used and how many attempts have been made. Teachers can ask admins to create helpful question custom fields, which can also be viewed from the question bank. But we'll make our quiz straight away. So to do that, we enable edit mode top right, and then in the section where we want the quiz, we click add an activity or resource. This takes us to Moodle's activity chooser. Quiz is an activity because the learners are interacting with it. Click once to go straight to the setup screen, or click the eye icon for more information and then press the add button bottom right. The first thing we do is create the front page, if you like, of the quiz, the name and the description, which quiz learners will see. And if you want the description to appear on the course page, just tick the box. There are many different settings in a quiz and it is worth exploring all of them. If there's anything you're not sure of, the question mark help icon gives you extra information. You can choose how you want learners to navigate through the quiz, if you want them to have hints, how much feedback, if any, you give them, and more. Activity completion. If we want to track that students have accessed the quiz, do we want them to manually click to confirm they've seen it? Or do we want it automatically marked complete when they've simply viewed it, got a grade or a passing grade, or other criteria? To alert course participants that a quiz activity has been added or updated, we click Send Content Change Notification. But we are not going to do that yet, since we haven't added any questions to our quiz. We click Save and Display, and we have a blank quiz, and what we need to do is start adding some questions, which we do by clicking Add Question, and then the link Add. If we already have questions, we can add a random question to our quiz or a particular question from the question bank which we might have added earlier or a colleague might have added earlier. But we're starting from nothing, so let's click to add a new question. We are then presented with a list of question types to choose from. And just like with the activity chooser, if we click the button next to the question type, we're presented on the right with some information as to what that question type does and note that although most of these questions are questions where you provide the answer, it is possible by choosing Essay to have learners typing an essay which would then manually have to be graded. Note there's also a description question. This isn't a question type as such, it's just a text editor into which we could add an explanation, some instructions, images, videos or sound. For the purposes of this quiz, I'm going to add a multiple choice question. We are then sent to the setup screen for this particular question. We have to give it a name, although the name doesn't appear in the quiz, but it's important because that's how it will be recognised in the question bank in the future, particularly if we have a lot of questions ourselves and perhaps shared with colleagues. 
In the question text, that's where we type the actual question. And then when we scroll down, what we see will depend on the question type, but we will always be able to add general feedback for any question. And then in the answers, because it's multiple choice, we have the first possible answer with the grade none. We add none if the question is wrong, or 100% if it's right. However, there are, as you can see, options in between. We can give specific feedback for each individual answer. And if we want to do more than just write simple text, we can use the icons in the text editor. So again, we write our choices, choose the grade and we continue. When we click Save Changes, we have our first quiz question, which we can preview. And then we go on and continue adding questions to our quiz. Finally, looking at a quiz that's already been made, it's easy to change the order of the questions by dragging them up or down and to add or remove page breaks by clicking on the icon.